Welcome to this video. In this video we will uh, find an equivalent force system for a 2D example. So if you look at the picture that I've drawn here, this actually may set a new standard for uh, bad art in this video sequence. But the intent here was to represent uh, something like a bicycle wheel. So you can see that um, there's a wheel with an axle and spokes and stuff like that if you use your imagination. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, pressing on the center of the wheel, uh, presumably at the axle, there is this force FB, this guy right here. And then um, the ground, the reaction force is N, the vertical component, and the horizontal component is FA. And what I'd like to do is find an equivalent. Um, uh, single net force and net torque that's equivalent to this force system to FA, FB, and N working together. And uh, so what I need to do then is uh, first I need to find a net force and then I'll need to find uh, the, equi or the net moment about a point and in this case uh, we'll use the point the center, here I'll label this as the center point. Okay, so again what we need to do is find the net force and we need to find the moment around C. Okay, so to do this um, you'll recall that the net force would just be the force B plus the force a plus N. Okay, so to compute these, what I really need to do is resolve F sub B into its X and Y components. And I guess to define X and Y, um, probably should do that, we'll put an X axis here and a Y axis here. And then uh, we need to resolve FB into its X component, which would be this guy right here, call this FBX, and its Y component, which we'll call FBY. Okay, so um, in order to do this, we note that we have a right triangle here. This angle is 30 degrees. We know the hypotenuse is 400 newtons. So using trig, it's fairly simple to see that F, oops, FBX, the magnitude of the force in the X direction, is um, equal to FB times, oops, got that wrong times sine of 30 degrees. Sine of 30 degrees is 1 half, FB is 400 newtons, so this is 200 newtons. And FBY in the Y direction is going to be minus, and minus because my arrow is pointing down, um, Actually, no, I don't want to put a minus there because I'm just showing the magnitude. Okay, so the magnitude of FBY will be FB cosine 30 degrees, which when I work that out, that's 400 times the cosine of 30 degrees, which is 346.4 newtons. Okay, so the magnitude here, I'm not going to draw as negative because I have this arrow showing me the uh, sense of the vector. Okay, so now I can uh, sum forces in the x direction. So when I do that, I have FBX um, minus FA because FA is drawn in the opposite direction, 
And so FBX minus FA, this is going to give me my net force in the X direction. FBX is 200 newtons. FA is 150 newtons. So this will be 50 newtons. Okay. If I look at the sum in the Y direction, I will have uh, minus FBY, that's because it's going down, plus N, that's my uh, reaction force going up, and uh, these forces have the same magnitude, they're opposite in direction, so uh, minus FB is going to be minus 346.4 newtons, N is 346.4 newtons, so this is zero newtons. Okay, so that gives us the um, net force. Now, we also need to find the uh, moment about the point C. And you'll notice that FB, its line of action passes through C. N, its line of action passes through C. So the only force that's going to um, create any moment about C is FA. So um, if I look at this, FA has a magnitude of 150 newtons. It's operating on a lever arm of 0 .5, 0 0.35 meters. That's the radius of the wheel. And so we can say then that the uh, moment is going to be um, negative 150 newtons times 0.35 meters, which gives me negative 52.5 newton meters. Okay, And this negative sign indicates that my moment is clockwise. So my moment is going in this direction. Uh, by convention, a positive sign is counterclockwise, a negative sign is clockwise. So, in a sense, we're done. We have that the uh, X component is given by 50 newtons. Uh, the Y component of the net force is given as 0 newtons. And uh, the uh, moment about C is minus 52.5 newton meters. So, for fairly simple problems, the approach that we've used here works. I mean, we've used some trig to determine uh, the components of FB. We've kept track of which direction forces are going by just looking at the arrows that we've drawn. So we had FBY pointing down, FA pointing uh, to the left. Uh, and just by keeping track of things, we've been able to keep signs correct. Now, I'd like to show you a second way to do this, which is using Cartesian coordinates and unit vectors. Um, this, in some ways, is less intuitive because it's harder to see what's going on. But when you get to complex problems, in particular when you start doing 3D problems, uh, this I find to be actually easier because it keeps track of things uh, correctly for you. And so, um, Let's see, let's just clear off some space here. This will probably be enough. Um, so what we need to do is, and this again is going to look an awful lot like what we just did, but we want to express FB, the vector, not the magnitude of the vector, but the actual vector itself. Well, by looking at the way it's defined and remembering our computations here, FB is going to be 400 newtons times sine of 30 degrees I hat, that's the unit vector in the x direction, minus 400 newtons cosine 30 degrees J hat. Okay. So that gives us our um, FB in uh, using uh, unit vectors and breaking it up into Cartesian coordinates. And if I actually write down what this is, uh, this is 200 newtons I hat minus 
346.4 newtons j hat. Okay. In the same way, Fa, the vector, will be minus 150 newtons i hat, and N, the vector, will be 346.4 newtons j hat. And I've done this funny spacing because I need to add these things all up and this will make it easier. So to get F, which again is our net force, we add the uh, x components, we add these guys, and that gives us 50 newtons times i hat. And then to get the y component, we add these guys. And that uh, gives us 0. Okay, So this tells us that the resultant is 50 newtons uh, times i hat, which is the unit vector in the x direction, which is the same as we got before. But this time we let the i hats and the j hats keep track of what was x and what was y rather than looking at our picture to tell us that. To get the moment, um, we need to know that the vector from the center to point A here, which I'll call RCA, this is minus 0.35 j hat. Okay. Again, that's the vector from the center of the wheel to the point where force A is applied. And here we'll clean up a bit more stuff. And we can get then that the moment MC, and this is going to be a vector, is RCA cross FA. So the vector cross product, um, hopefully, as you'll recall, gives us uh, moment vectors. And so uh, when I plug these guys in and actually compute the cross product, I'm not going to show the computations directly. I will show one cool thing you can do with Wolfram Alpha. If I put in these vectors, so RCA has an x component of 0, a y component of minus 0.35, and a z component of 0, cross FA, which has an x component of 100 and minus 150 newtons, and the other two components are 0. Whoops, and I think I got this, so now I'm making a big mess of it. Let's see if it gets this right. Uh, it did not get that right. You need to use these curly braces. I got so excited that I forgot to put them in. Okay, let's look at this. Now it computes the cross product. And the, um, in this case, the z component of the cross product is minus 52.5. Well, the cross product is 0, comma, 0, comma, minus 52.5, which gives us our, um, our uh, oh, my mind just went blank. It gives us something useful. It gives us our net moment about C. So if we go write this down, we have then that this is going to be minus 52.5, and it was in, that was the uh, Z coordinate, so it's times K hat. And again, uh, the negative sign here tells us that it is a clockwise moment um, around, uh, around the point C. So hopefully you found this useful. Um, again, we've looked at uh, sort of an ad hoc way of doing this where you keep track of directions yourself. And then we've applied uh, the machinery of using vectors and cross products and stuff which keeps track of everything for you as long as you do it right. So hopefully you found this instructive.